This is Bill Mulcahy. I'm here in Kingston, the Ulster Savings Bank, with uh, New Paul's artist Howard Miller. And Howard's having a show here today. On Wall Street. On Wall Street. And, uh, Not I'm, Wall Street, Manhattan, but Wall Street, Kingston. Uh, how, how many paintings do you have here, Howard? I have uh, 31. And uh, how'd you, how did it come about that you uh, have this show here? Well, I just happened to walk in. I like the space. It's, it's a kind of a large space. Were they, were they uh, looking for artists for, uh, to have a show? No, but there was one uh, show that was coming down, so my timing was right. Oh. You want to go around with uh, my brother here and explain each painting and so something about them? Sounds like... Uh, or you can go by yourself. By myself. I have to, I have to operate the camera. Oh. Um, I'll explain a few of them. Okay. <laughs> It's kind right, of we'll too go, much. We'll go around. Yeah, go around. I'll, I'll okay. take some. I'll take some pictures first. I'll take some pictures of the okay. other two sections. Okay. That you have here. How are you? Okay. We can start with this one if you like. All right. Well, hold on. Ready? This one uh, I did around 1985, 86, maybe uh, at the Metropolitan Museum. Uh, they um, they allow you to copy paintings if you make an appointment with them, so I did. And this is from a Rubens, but it's only like one day's work, so I never really finished it, but it's complete in its own way. We can go to this one here. This was a um, a great rabbi that I met one time. He's, uh, he was a... Um, an expert in Kabbalah, you know, spiritual, uh, spiritual work. And I met him once, then I got a photograph of him and I created this. Okay. Okay. This, uh, this I started a uh, painting outside of the bistro in New, in New Paltz. It was, uh, they used to have a lot of leaves growing on the building there, on Church Street and Main. So it started out that way, and then there was an old car parked in a parking lot. It looked like it was from the 60s or... 60s, right? Uh, and then I just started changing it. Started changing itself, actually. Right, so. And um, I finally got it to a complete state of... Uh, Strangeness. <laughs> it's sort of a new world entering the old world. Makes sense. This one uh, is called, is, uh, I call it in the beginning, I call it the fried egg. And this has to do with uh, well, uh, sexuality, birth, and death, which is the fried egg. <laughs> it's a symbol of death. <laughs> you get fried, see, at the end. So it's sexuality, birth, and death at the end. I can repeat it. Uh, they're kind of symbolic of um, sexuality, birth, life, and death. Ready? You can edit that. This one is, uh, I just like the shape of the frame. So I figured it needed an orange and it needed a, a window. So we have an orange and a window. <laughs> Small. This one uh, is from my imagination. Like most of my paintings are from my imagination. Uh, actually, all of these are except for this one. But uh, this one here is, um, I was kind of in a meditative state when I did this. Actually, I was. And the, 
the decorative the decorative uh, frame was the last thing I did. Um, I don't remember, I did this like in 1990, 1990 maybe. I don't know. Okay. okay. This I did in uh, uh, 2009, again from my imagination. From my most of Flowers are really complicated, so I don't like looking at them for too long. So I have to work from my imagination. So I just, this is how it comes out. This is a sketch of uh, Church Street in New Paltz, standing on top of Main Street looking down. And that was done last year. It's kind of a sketch, color sketch. Okay. Okay, this uh, is a tent. It was a tent that was done uh, at an art fair in New Paltz. And uh, it was done very fast, but it had a nice texture to it. I like it a lot. Okay. All right, this is a pair I did for my imagination also. It's small, but it took a lot of painful work. I did this uh, last year also. Okay. This one, again, from my imagination, it's uh, a bottle and an orange and a flower. <laughs> I did this uh, about six months ago. You know, I looked at, I had an idea and then I started to change it and uh, this is how it came out. Right. This, uh, this was done on a uh, silverware box that I found. I didn't intend to go this far with it, but uh, my imagination kind of carried me away. And it has to do with another life a life that either I was in before or where I'm going. I don't know which way it is yet, but it's definitely, uh, in fact, one of the employees here really likes this because she, <laughs> she probably has the same feeling that I do about it. It's out of this world. <laughs> this was done in New Paltz also in an open field. Uh, there was Mohonk in the back, but I destroyed Mohonk because it was too, um, it was too typical of New Pulse. Mohonk is in every picture of New Pulse, so I just wanted to change it, so I kind of rubbed it out a little bit and added uh, this guy in red to give it life, you know. Uh, this was done uh, about 1988. No, by 1992, actually. It was done on, a, uh, on my wall in an apartment that I had. And um, I moved from there, but I didn't want to leave it, so I cut it out from the wall, a piece of sheetrock. And then I, uh, I hung it up. I did replace the other wall. Okay. Okay, this... I did about a month ago. It started out as a vase or vase. And it's a little bit translucent on one side and there's a, there's a uh, still life feeling of an apple and uh, a lemon. But everything sort of flows into each other and hopefully it's one picture held together by these shapes that are sort of floating. Okay. Okay, this one, uh, I'm going to let the camera stay on for a little longer because it has a certain effect that I want to see if it comes off on the camera. Um, it's just, it started out as an egg shape, 
and it just called for another egg shape inside of it. And I got a few of my brush hairs stuck onto it. Unfortunately, I can't get it off, so it is part of the painting. But what happens is the center, if you, when it, you look at it long enough, it starts to pulsate. Sort of like, like uh, I guess that's what we do. That's it. Oh, from here, yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? Let's see when the light goes. Okay, this this I did in 1985, I think it was. Uh, again, from my imagination, it's still life. But it's a still life from somewhere else, not from here. And I call this the two suns. My younger daughter likes this painting a lot, so she's going to get this one. Yeah. That's it. Okay, this this painting was done on wood. It's a um, sort of iconish, but I changed it around a little bit, and it's it's complete, but it's not complete. I just liked it the way it is, kind of a little bit rough. And uh, it was acrylic and oil on wood. A little on the Christian side. Chewing a cracker, so uh, <clears throat> this was done on uh, on uh, Luan, which is a piece of wood, and I call this uh, fire on the water. It's from my imagination. It, um, I don't know why I put the fire on the water. It's just somehow it just came to me. This is what happened. It's. Uh, It has some kind of uh, meaning I haven't figured out yet. Okay. This uh, <coughs> is a little Chagallish. I know I never liked Mark Chagall too much because his color bothered me. But I figured, well, let me just try it. And there it is. Yeah, well, you know the tugboat, right? Well, down by the yeah, strand. Down by the strand. Yeah. yeah. Matilda. Matilda. Of course, Matilda, yeah, right. Yeah. And when else was She was from, uh, when I went to art school, she was a model. Oh, very nice face. Yeah. Very nice. What's your name? Helena. Helena. What do, you, what do you think of Mr. Miller's eye? I think it's very nice. Very, well, I don't know nice isn't the right word. It's just different. It kind of uh, eclectic. Is that the right word? That's, a, uh, that's the perfect <laughs> word. And, uh, very eclectic. Yeah. Uh, you're not almost certain if it's not the same. If you're like a different artist in every. Uh, yeah. You know. I paint by my moods, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like many artists are being represented here, not just him. He has multiple personalities. Multiple, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. There, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very good. Yeah. Well, thank you. The boat is. Uh, <coughs> this was. Uh, Done in Kingston. Uh, there's a uh, an old tugboat, in dry sort of dry dock, and it looked huge. It looked like a huge whale to me. So I painted it, and then I added this little figure, and just to give it, um, you know, sort of uh, contrast between the size of the the boat and the person, kind of lets you know how big it probably is which is it's how big it looks to me. If that makes sense, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. That's what the Romans said. <clears throat> okay. Um, this, again, from my imagination, is a pear, a red pear. I like the, uh, the uh, space that it takes up on the wall and also in the canvas. 
just uh, powerful to me anyway. Okay, this. Okay, now this one is a uh, a quickie of a tree in uh, grass and hills done in New Pulse also. Um, I probably spent about an hour and a half on this, but I like the way it looks, even though it's not totally finished. Uh, <clears throat> that's all I can say for that one. This one uh, is also Church Street in New Paltz, another version of it. Um, you'll notice I leave, I leave out uh, people and cars. Where did you get that frame? A friend of mine gave me that frame. It's made in Mexico. They do some really nice carving over there. It's a breast on it. And they might not like it here. So, All right, this one uh, I did at the um, Dorsky Museum, a copy from uh, George Innes. Uh, just the beginning of it, but the show ended. I didn't have time to finish it, so I just left it the way it was. That's that one. All right. This one, again from my imagination, it's a, it's a, um, it looks like an ancient bottle with a slightly undeveloped egg. And I just like the shape of the whole thing on this uh, white canvas. Both both the top and the bottom I left white with some texture on it. And uh, I like this painting a lot. It's simple. Okay, that's that one. This one, uh, I call this liquid light. Um, I did this in the 80s also, from my imagination, and uh, it's kind of abstract, that's what I like about it. It's abstract and it's reality and it's not reality. And as you can see, there's light falling out from this opening here, from this doorway. And it's flowing to the other side of the street and there's a man sitting against the wall. Looks like he's uh, taking a siesta. <laughs> it's not a, kind of all blends in together. And, uh, was, was the man sitting against the wall? Where is he? He's right here. I'll leave it up to this looker to see if they can uh, find it. Okay, this one is a dog. <laughs> but it, uh, I like it because it looks like it's coming right off, right out of the canvas. It's like ready to say something. And I, I guess it's the rest that it speaks for itself. Well, it's trying to speak for itself. Okay. This one, I would say, I would call this a mean mother. <laughs> uh, from my imagination, again, it's sort of... Looks like she has a halo. It's a halo, but it also, it, her, her head is going back and it's coming out again at the same time. It's sort of, kind of like that. It's, uh, if you look at it long enough, you'll see what I mean. Okay, this one is um, a ballet shoe that my daughter had that was really worn out. You could see how hard she worked because there are holes on it and there are strings coming out and and uh, I just liked this, the whole shape of it. It also reminded me of uh, Van Gogh's boot in a way. Okay. Okay, this one is uh, again another uh, sort of a townscape, Church Street again the new pulse, a slightly different design, different kind of light. And uh, here I just have a solid blue sky, which I was going to change it, but I figured 
it works the way it is. It gives off a certain kind of atmosphere that I like. Okay, this one was a portrait of a model at the Art Students League in the early 80s. Um, she just had a real solid head. You could feel there's a lot of skull in there and a lot of brain and a lot of problems. <laughs> you know, so uh, she, I really had, a, I really enjoyed doing this portrait. It was a, a new discovery I made of, uh, uh, of uh, painting portraits with this particular one. <laughs> <laughs>